Hello and welcome to all. This is step number 8014 and in this video I will talk about inert gas system. So first we will know what is inert gas. So this is a gas that is low in oxygen content obtained from the funnel uptake or an inert gas generator. It is pumped into tanks while cargo is being discharged to reduce the risk of fire or explosion. The purpose of an inert gas system is to blanket the surface of the cargo or ballast and prevent a mixture of air and the hydrocarbons causing fire or explosion within the tank space. Now we will see the components of inert gas plant. So as drawn in the figure, you can see inert gas source. What is the inert gas source? The boiler in the ship's engine room are the source for the funnel gas used in the inert gas process. This gas is led from the boilers to the funnel via a flue gas uptakes gas isolating valves these valves are located in the pipes which permit the hot dirty flue gases to be delivered to the scrubber the valves isolate the scrubbers from the flue gas uptakes when the plant is not in use if the boiler gas gas is not required by the inert gas process it flows up to the funnel piping and is expelled to the atmosphere Scrubber. The scrubber has a threefold purpose. First, to cool the flue gas. Second, to remove most of the sulfur dioxide. Third, to remove most of the soot particles. The design of the scrubber vary considerably, but in all scrubbers, flue gas is brought into contact with large quantities of sea water by which the gas is cooled and cleaned. Before entering the scrubbing tower, the gas receives an initial cooling by being bubbled through a water seal as you can see in the figure the scrubber tower is made up of following components first is the venturi nozzle and the slots which is the perforated impingement plates third is the trays of packed stone or plastic chippings d is the water sprays the flue gas enters the bottom of the tower and moves upwards through the down flowing sea water and layered arrangement ensuring maximum contact between water and gas. Demister trays which consist of polypropylene matrices are located at the top of the tower to remove water droplets from the gas. The sea water which cleans the gas becomes acidic and led overboard from the bottom of the scrubber by corrosion resistant piping. Last is a blower. These are electric motor driven centrifugal blowers which delivers the clean cool inert gas to the cargo tanks via the distribution system now we will see the distribution system of inert gas the gas is distributed through a pipe in which which are fitted with uh, pressure control arrangements to regulate the flow of gas to the main distribution pipe on the deck and to prevent any back flow of gas in the event of a mechanical failure in the plant. The first one is gas pressure regulating valve. This valve is usually part of an automatic recirculating unit whereby gas is not required in cargo tanks is rerouted back to the scrubber. This is the deck water seal. This is the principal barrier against backflow. In the basic type of seal, the wet seal, the inert gas bubbles through the water from the submerged inlet pipe. If the pressure of the gas in the cargo tanks exceeds the pressure of the gas in the inlet pipe, water is forced up that pipe and any backflow is thus prevented. The deck non-return valve, a mechanical valve which also prevents backflow but in addition prevents any cargo flowing to the deck seal if the cargo tanks have been overfilled is the deck non-return valve. The deck isolating valves. This isolates the deck main from the rest of the system when the plant is shut down. It also permits maintenance work to be carried out on non-return valve. The pressure vacuum breakers. These liquid filled breakers are fitted in the deck gas main to prevent the cargo tanks from being subjected to an excess positive pressure and to an excess negative pressure. The branch lines. These pipes deliver the inert gas from the deck main to the individual cargo tanks. 
Another branch line is in the form of a mast riser to allow the venting of the gas to the atmosphere. These are the advantage of the inert gas system and uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to enhance your merchant navy knowledge. Thank you.